Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, you're watching Horizon Rover, today is Sunday 19th of February 2023 and this video is about today's Madame Naza location, as you can see she is by Oak Rix Run and the list of daily challenges. General challenges first and the first challenge is 500 feet distance child leading on a horse. So we have to get to our horse, press L2 button and then press triangle button. For some reason I can't lead it from here. Right, come here horse. Maybe this way. Nope. Okay, let's go on the road then. Maybe that's why. Right. Only because I have I have a weapon in my hand. Let's try here. Oh yeah, because I have a knife in my hand. <laughs> that's why I couldn't. Alright. <laughs> Happens. So it will take approximately half a minute to complete. Next daily challenge is three ducks skinned. You can get ducks usually around the Stillwater Creek, quite many of them. Then on Ovangela Lake around here and sometimes around here. Then quite many of them at Bart's Crossing around this area at Harton's Overflow around this area here and Ovangela Lake around the lake also if you are a missionary you can start one missionary mission and on that mission you will get ducks straight away immediately 99% guarantee sometimes they are not there but it's very rare that they are not spawned so, Press options button, go to progress, story missions, a life of shine, start the certainty of death and taxes. On that mission, as soon as your wagon stopped, jump off the wagon and look towards the river. You will see three ducks sitting there, shoot them and skin them. That's it, it will be completed then. Then, next challenge is five fish caught with live bait. Live bait are crickets, for example so use them to catch fish life worms as well you can buy them at the tackle shop biolograph astral one james langton missions completed james langton usually by lake don julio or not far away from mcferrin's ranch there he is now but he also could be at this location here go to james langton and accept one of his missions obviously completed as well five non play enemies killed at long range you can do that easily on the lobos or when you are wanted shoot at lawman i like to do that at citadel rock cliffs so when i'm wanted i'm just uh, going up to the cliff at citadel rock here and when lawman approach usually from valentine I just shoot them with sniper rifle or with a bolt action rifle from as far as possible. Also you can go to Thief Sanding and shoot the Lobos also. Just shoot them from as far as possible with repeater rifle or sniper rifle, bow and arrow as well. Then next one, one times become drunk, obviously we have to get drunk by drinking alcohol, you can do that for free in your camp there's a crate of beer by Wilderness Outfitters Wagon. There's one crate of beer for free by Lagraf Astral as well. There are many of them scattered around the map but that one is easy to access. You can get drunk in your Munchen Shack in any bar or if you have a lot of bottles in your satchel. In provisions so I have fine brandy here, I have opened bottles so I'll use open bottles I always use them probably I'll need about five bottles to get drunk 
for this challenge. If you will do that in the bar and you don't like this drunk effect on your character, you can eat almonds on the side of the bar and you will become sober straight away. If you are drinking in your camp, there's a barrel with water by the wilderness outfitters wagon. You can wash your face with that with the water from that barrel and it will make you sober as well straight away. So one time you become drunk is completed. Then three weapons cleaned with gun oil and while well, drunk obviously. <laughs> now let's clean them. You can buy gun oil from fence in the catalog as well and collect it from the post office. Then clean your weapons. When they become dirty my repeater was dirty for two days already. Alright, usually I don't use them. I don't like that green grips, but I like the rest of it. Jade grips. Hopefully they're jade, not plastic. Right. Next. We have to check what we have for the bounty hunter. It's two bounties brought in from new hunter posters, two bounties completed within one real world hour, and two bounty targets tagged with tracking arrow. You can do that on the same bounty usually. For the trader, three donated deadly predator carcass or skin. For that, I would move my camp to the bio area and hunt alligators. It's easy to find them. 20 donations to creeps, could be any feathers and 200 dollars made from I don't need no new trading. On the road. Get for the collector 5 bird eggs found, 6 collectibles collected and 2 collectibles found with a metal detector. So today's duck egg location is not far away from Fort Wallace, it's on Dakota River, Fort Wallace and you will find your duck eggs today at this location here. When you're gonna pick them up, you will complete the daily challenge if you don't have too many duck eggs already in your satchel. For the moonshiner, two crafted toxic moonshin, $200 made from moonshin salt, and two moonshin bar drunk and play interaction. You can find the video on my channel how to complete it solo without any other player's assistance. For the naturist, two blending tonics crafted or used. You can buy them from Harriet, one legendary animals photographed. On Harry's missions, it's easy to complete it. On Protect the Legendary Animal Free Roam event as well, or if you're gonna encounter one in Free Roam. Two sedated animals revived. Any animals to be revived for this daily challenge. On that, I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day and see you next time. Get hide of here. Come on, Someone's battle rabbit. Yeah, collectible here, yeah. nice. Let's dig a grave for them. There's dirt on my hands. Oh, that's a bit small coffin. Strong like a tree. <laughs> Not really nice. I had to shoot that guys from the highway from far away to be fair, but I have some other enemies there, far away from me.
Hopefully on the way to the drop point, there will be some more enemies. No, enemies. Actually, on James Langton's missions, there should be many non player enemies, and you can use them to shoot them from as far as possible for the daily challenge. Right, on that, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching again, and see you next time.